In this video we'll look at uh, these two examples, dividing uh, these polynomials by a monomial. So please write down the first one. It's 18ax minus 27bx squared minus 45cx squared all over 9x squared. So please write that down. And So here we have three terms all divided by one number. So uh, you've got to remember that this is just like having um, 10 apples plus 15 bananas plus 20 cherries all divided by 5. It means you divide each term by 5. The whole thing is being divided by 5. Okay. So we would have to divide the 10 apples by 5, the 15 bananas by 5, and the 20 cherries by 5. So you've got to divide each individual term by the number on the bottom, right? So it's 10 apples, 15 bananas, 20 cherries split equally among 5 children. Each child gets 2 apples, 3 bananas, uh, 4 cherries. Okay. So we've got three terms divided by 9x squared. So that means each individual term needs to be divided by 9x squared, right? So you're going to have 18ax divided by 9x squared, which I'm going to write 9xx minus 27bx squared, which I'm going to write bxx over 9x squared, 9xx, uh, minus 45cx squared, I'm going to write that xx, over 9x squared, 9xx. And I just do that so it's easier to cross cancel with, okay? So then we just simplify each fraction in turn. The x is cross cancel here, and 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 18 goes twice. So we have 2a over x, right? 2a over x minus what Christ cancels here? 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 27, three times. x and x goes once, x and x goes once, x and x goes once, here and here, right? So that's 3b over 1. 3b minus, and can you simplify this fraction? So 9 into 9 goes once, 9 into 45, 5 times. x and x goes once here and here, x and x goes once here and here, so we have 5x, right, over 1. So, or sorry, 5c, 5c. So 5c. So 2a over x minus 3b minus 5c. Right. So please write this example down and then press pause and do it yourself. So it's 4a squared x minus 24ax squared plus 36a squared x squared all over 40a squared x squared. Okay. So write it all down and then press pause and try it yourself. Okay, I hope you've tried it yourself. I'm going to go over it now step by step just in case you need help. So the whole thing is being divided by the 40a squared x squared. So each individual term needs to be divided by 40a squared x squared which is aaxx. So this term needs to be divided by it. This term needs to be divided by it, 40aaxx and this term needs to be divided by it, right? And I just like to expand out all the exponents just to make it easier to cross cancel. So the first term is 4a squared x. I'm going to write that 4a a x minus minus 24 a and x squared is x x. Now what will the last term look like? What will your last fraction look like there? So it's going to be plus, right, plus 36 
a squared x squared a a x x okay and now we just go through and cross cancel and uh, simplify each fraction okay so press pause and finish the problem if you haven't done so yet okay I'll go and do it now in case you need help 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 40 goes 10 times. A into A goes once, A into A goes once. A into A goes once, here and here. X and X goes once, here and here. On this fraction, we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1 over 10 times 1 times 1 times 1 times, 1 times X. Don't forget that X still hanging out there. 10x, 1 over 10x, okay, minus 24 and 40. 4 into 24 goes 6 times. 4 into 40 goes 10 times, and I should have divided by 8, shouldn't I? Oh well. 2 into 6 goes 3 times. 2 into 10 goes 5 times, okay. A into A goes once here and here x to x goes once here and here x and x goes once here and here so on the top we have 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 3 over on the bottom we have 5 times 1 times a times 1 times 1 5 a okay plus 36 and 40 what goes into both well 4 into 36 goes 9 times 4 into 40 goes 10 times. What else can you do? A and A goes once here and here. A and A goes once here and here. X and X goes once. X and X goes once, right? So we get 9 times a bunch of 1's, 9 over 10 times a bunch of 1's, 10. Okay? So that's our final answer. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. So Notice that, notice that um, here we have an X on the bottom and you leave that on the bottom, okay? Here we have an A on the bottom, you leave that on the bottom of the fraction. That's not the same as having it on the top or in the middle. So that's not the same as X over 10 or 1 tenth times X. These are, these are equal, but they're not the same as having an X on the bottom because this, in this case, you're actually dividing by an X, whereas in this case, you're multiplying by an X, okay? Similarly here, um, I mean, you can have 3a over 5, which is equal to 3 fifths a. And this, in this, these cases, you're actually multiplying by a. But here, you're dividing by a. The a is on the bottom. So you just leave the a on the bottom. Here, you leave the x on the bottom. Okay.